or something, right? So we've been advertising today is a great day to get out on the roads. Mm -hmm. It's going to be, but just a word of caution right now. Mm. Okay. Okay. Some of that leftover moisture from yesterday froze up overnight, and there are reports that we have black ice out there. It's patchy, but it is out there. So please use caution. If it hasn't been treated, it could be slippery this morning until it warms up. This will be an issue unless it gets treated. And then once it does, look across the northeast, nothing going on, just some clouds rolling through this morning. It is going to be a dry day today and good for travel overall. That will change tomorrow for Thanksgiving Day. We are going to have rain for a lot of us, but some snow with elevation as you go north and west of 495 and into parts of central and northern New England as well. This is our developing storm system. It is going to race eastward here and you can see by tomorrow morning it's here and as it cuts on a path here close to Cape Cod with minimal cold air in place and a wind off the ocean, it is going to get be hard to get snow here here in southern New England, but to the north you can see the snow and even with some elevation here north of Route 2 and out into the Berkshires, there will be a minor snow accumulation as well. So it is going to be a messy one here for Thanksgiving. Right now you can see those temperatures holding right around 40 in Boston above freezing near the coast, but just inland there are pockets where it is down, not just in the low 30s, but even some 20s. And that's why I'm concerned with that bit of black ice out there this morning. Temperatures jump up to about 45 degrees by 10 AM. We have sunshine this afternoon. We're in the upper 40s, some low 50s south of town. It is a quiet weather day overall. So if you are traveling today, really once we get through this black ice this morning, there's nothing to worry about. And then look at this overnight. The clouds race in and by around sunrise tomorrow morning, here comes the rain and there will be some cold enough air for snow uh, as you go out into the Berkshires first thing tomorrow morning and up into the Monadnock region. So if you're traveling early tomorrow morning, keep that in mind. Notice the temperatures are running mostly above the freezing mark. But this continues right through lunchtime. So those high school football games, those turkey trots tomorrow morning, they are going to be wet. You can see the temperatures only in the 40s, some upper 30s here through the Merrimack Valley. And as you get out along that Route 2 corridor with elevation, that's where there will be some snow. And this goes right through the afternoon, stopping the clock here at 6 p.m. So basically it is wet tomorrow from start to finish. And then as we go into tomorrow evening, the storm is going to start racing by us. And so we will dry things out and there could be a beef flip on over to a few snowflakes through the North Shore and the Merrimack Valley at the tail end, but primarily a rain event with about a half an inch to an inch of rain till you get to the north and west. And you can see here north and west of Worcester uh, out along the Route 2 corridor, Fitchburg, Lemonster coating to an inch of snow. You go from orange northward up toward the Monadnock region one to three and about one to three inches in the Berkshires more as you get up into southern in Vermont. The wind tomorrow out of the east gusting over 20 miles per hour as it shifts to the northwest on Friday, though, that is bringing in the colder air. So look at our temperatures. They are trending down. We're only around 40 on Saturday, upper 30s Sunday with sunshine, and we're going to stay in the 30s through a good portion of next week. So December the 1st is on Sunday and December is getting off to a cold start for sure. It sure is. It really just feels like we've hit the ground running. Oh, yes, we're in it. this season. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you may want to hit the ground running this morning to avoid the traffic, but as Cindy mentioned, and we can't stress it enough right now, Good Wednesday to you, of course, the day before Thanksgiving and traveling after 8 a.m. Today should be fine, but there's a little black ice out there this morning. Dry today, mostly sunny skies, temperatures either side of 50 degrees. It's tomorrow that we've got some messy weather coming on in with the storm that's going to bring a cold rain pretty much all day long on Thanksgiving. But north and west of 495 with elevation, especially above 1,000 feet, that's where we could have some snow that could accumulate one to three inches through the Monadnock region out to the Berkshires, but if you are traveling north, central, northern New England, it is going to be snowing much of the day. Plan for hazardous travel up that way. And a good Wednesday to you, of course, the day before Thanksgiving. And we have a storm brewing here with energy coming out of the Rockies. It's going to develop a storm here over the Midwest that moves toward the East Coast as we get into Thanksgiving Day. So you can see it kind of tracking up toward us. It's moving pretty quickly. It's a progressive system, and there is not a lot of cold air preceding it. And with a track right over Cape Cod, it's going to be tough to get much of anything but rain here in southern New England. But with some elevation over the far interior, there will be some snow. The bulk 
bulk of it cutting across central northern New England, and that's where there are winter storm watches up for Thanksgiving Day. So if you are traveling north on the holiday tomorrow, be advised there will be some slippery travel with some snow covered roads as you get away from the coastline. And you can see that bulk of the snow is really to our north, but the southern end of it again clipping parts of the Berkshires and the northern Worcester Hills. Otherwise, we're planning on wet weather tomorrow but dry weather today. So if you are traveling today doing some errands, you can see we will have mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will come up into the upper 40s, going to a high of about 49 in Boston, pretty close to average for this time of year, sneaking into the low 50s in a few spots south of town. So we're in good shape today. Dry this evening. Overnight, the clouds thicken and the rain starts to move in right around sunrise coming up on Thanksgiving. And look at the temperatures, 30s to around 40 degrees, but to the north, it is a little bit colder. So north of Route 2 up into southern New Hampshire, back into the Berkshires, that's where we could have a little bit of mixing and some wintry precipitation with snow continuing out in these areas with elevation, the Monadnock region, the Berkshires, right through midday. Elsewhere, the rain is picking up in intensity. And look at that raw easterly wind coming in, temperatures in the 40s. So those high school football games tomorrow morning are looking wet. Turkey trots, they are looking wet. And it is going to be kind of of a chilly, just wet day as this goes all day long. By six o'clock in the evening, you can see we're only in the low 40s in Boston. The rain is still falling, but as you go north and west of 495, still looking at a little bit of snow. And as this storm pulls away tomorrow night, we will finally see the precipitation come to an end. So this is rain looking like a half an inch to an inch for a lot of us here in southern New England. But as you go north and west of 495 with elevation, really uh, targeting that route two quarter for maybe a coating to an inch north of there spots like Orange and Winchenden crossing over into the Monadnock region of New Hampshire. That's where we could see one to three inches of snow. That'll be the case out of the Berkshires as well. But as you get north of there into Vermont, central uh, parts of New Hampshire, the Lakes region, three to six inches of snow up into western Maine as well. So watching for that potential tomorrow. The winds, they are coming out of the east off the ocean on uh, Thanksgiving. And by Friday, they're shifting around to the northwest. And that is drawing in colder air and it looks like a shot of cold coming for the rest of the holiday weekend. But this big dip of the jet stream over the northeast doesn't go anywhere. In fact, the first 10 days of December looking colder than average as we are going to struggle to get out of the 30s here by the end of the weekend. And that's where we stay into next week. The pattern, though, looking dry after Thanksgiving Day, uh, just on the chilly side for early December.